Welcome to Clarinet Hacks with Jochen. In this episode I want to show you how to change your mouthpiece cushion and why it is important to use a mouthpiece cushion. Now there are various mouthpiece cushions you can get in the music stores. We recommend a silicone mouthpiece cushion which is also made on the back side with such a self-adhesive layer where you have to remove uh, the protection shield from one side and then you fix it on the mouthpiece. These silicone mouthpiece cushions for me they have the big advantage that the vibration of the mouthpiece and the reed combination itself rings much less without affecting your inside um, resonance by having the mouthpiece on the teeth. This side where the teeth are placed on the mouthpiece they give the resonance of the vibration of the ringing of your clarinet directly to your teeth and to your ears and to the bones inside. So if you play directly with, your, with the teeth on your mouthpiece you have a very very high um, level of harmonics inside your head. For me personally I don't like this very much and I want to protect my ears a tiny bit from these body frequencies of the mouthpiece. This is the reason for the silicone mouthpiece cushion and as well there are sometimes people they have very very sharp front teeth and with such a more plastic containing mouthpiece uh, cushion, you grab into the mouthpiece cushion, you can see this from your pupil sometimes, and you are really destroying the mouthpiece cushion first and then your teeth and then the mouthpiece. So this mouthpiece cushion also is kind of a protection for the mouthpiece and for your teeth. It's really a layer between the clarinet and you. You have the contact to the instrument and you have a nice harmonic range if this absorbs um, yeah, uh, body frequencies from the instrument. For example on an older mouthpiece you have used several mouthpiece cushions over the time and you see kind of this printing on the mouthpiece and this is now very difficult to glue something on this really polished surface. The first thing you should do is to use at least a little alcohol which you use for cleaning the upside of the mouthpiece like this. doesn't affect yourself, it's just for cleaning the surface. You wait a second, we have a grease free upside of the mouthpiece. Either you use this typical plastic mouthpiece cushion or the silicone one. You have to remove this protection from the downside and don't touch either this surface and either this surface. Now you have to find the right position of your mouthpiece cushion on the mouthpiece. If you put it too high the mouthpiece tip will be affected from the mouthpiece cushion and the attack of your notes are not as good as they can be. So have always one millimeter free on the tip and try to be as symmetric as possible to glue it on the upside of your mouthpiece. You press it a tiny bit and then hopefully the mouthpiece cushion is set symmetrically. If you use the silicone the silicone mouthpiece, same thing, you clean the surface and as silicone glue is not really very good, another thing I can recommend to have a very good connection between mouthpiece cushion and mouthpiece is to use a very fine abrasive paper like this gray one which has 15 micron um, grain which is nearly nothing 
with this one you don't destroy the surface but you make it larger by this I try to show it in this way you can very carefully open the upside of your mouthpiece it's not this polished anymore and now you use again some alcohol you clean the surface and now it's not only grease free but it's also a little larger this helps to keep the the gluing layer on the right position on the mouthpiece you prepare now the taking away of the protection layer you take it on the side don't touch this part now you concentrate on fixing the right position not too high and very symmetric looks like this and you see where it gets dark it has a certain contact yet now you use your finger to press it down to the contact to get the contact to the mouthpiece after having pressed the mouthpiece cushion on the mouthpiece wait a tiny time to really get uh, time for the glue to fix in the best way just leave it apart for some 50 minutes after this you can start to play with your newly equipped mouthpiece if you had yet such a mouthpiece cushion on your mouthpiece and you used it for a while and it looks like this opens a tiny bit here and there because you worked hard on it just remove it and you will see oh there's the other side of this gluing layer of this self adhesive fixing and you have the silicone just without anything here so now we have the work to really remove this the self adhesive layer is very very thin and you see it looks like really a completely damaged mouthpiece so what you now have to do is really to try to get this apart use your fingernails but be careful to not scratch into the mouthpiece don't use any other tools than just your fingernails every other tool will be too dangerous no knives no scissors nothing now you have the rest of the glue on the surface the best is you use again some alcohol there are other liquids like cleaning fuel which also works quite fine a little quicker but I recommend alcohol even if it's not so quick because this is not really a problem for your health and as well not a problem for the hard rubber mouthpiece in case you have a plastic mouthpiece be aware that any other liquid than alcohol can destroy the plastic of the mouthpiece so now we have a properly cleared surface of the upside of your mouthpiece you see how the alcohol gets into the air I recommend to use this very very fine abrasive paper to clean again a little deeper the surface on the upside of your mouthpiece this also helps against any other things which you leave here on the mouthpiece by playing it for years so we can leave this drying and again we place this millimeter away from the mouthpiece tip and symmetric like this it is ready for use this is how I protect my mouthpiece from destroying it with my teeth and this gives me a very good and well feeling contact from my embouchure to the instrument thank you for watching clarinet hacks with Jochen and follow new videos on this website thank you bye bye